Hi beautiful doll and welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Gina. If you are new here, thank you so much for clicking on my video. Hey, my old people, you know I love you guys so much. And I do stories about my life in Saudi Arabia. And today you can see from my face that I look so exhausted. I'm very tired. I have a bad moon today at work. And I, I need to share with you guys because I've been expecting. Uh, sharing my experience in saudi so if it goes good i need to talk about if it goes bad i need to talk about i know now i have a lot of people in saudi who are also a housemate and i think this will be the best also for them it will be an advice for them also okay so today i really had a very bad day because I was so busy, you know, this work I do, I bomb is one day, I will talk about things I do in the house, you know, I do everything, they have put in everything under my neck, the papers in the house, and if you count them, more than 10 people in the same house, and I have been doing everything, ironing from A to Z, I'm the one doing anything, okay, so today my encounter was, you know, my madam attacked me today, and I was so very, very annoyed and angry with her but i decided not to talk you know something today when i wake up and i prepare lunch i serve them the lunch and you know here yeah, they have some leaves that they've been using they used to eat it's like dandelion but in ghana that's the name we call it dandelion it's some leaves and I wash it, okay, it's plenty in the fridge, so every day I wash it and put it in the plate, then they will be using it small, small. So today, after I finish the food, I wash it and add it to the food. I, I, I send the food to them, they eat. If you don't like, why didn't you tell me early before you ate the food? They ate, after that they called me to come and pick the chains. When I went, then the woman was doing me this this you know if they do this like this you know something this is how they've been doing because they know we don't understand the language very well so they always do this and if they do this that means majorona and i don't want to it the meaning is crazy you know you are crazy so she did this to me and i said me what did i do wrong did I do anything bad that you are doing this to me? Then she said, yes. I said, okay, what did I do? Then she said, and these things, you don't have to bring all of them. It's plenty. You should have, like, divide it and bring half and put the a half aside. Then I, I said, okay. So, if you know if it, it's plenty and I have brought all of them, I have washed it, washed it and brought all of them. You, you can tell me, oh, next time, don't bring all of all of them. Put someone aside and bring half. After next time, then we use the half. But this lady didn't tell me that. Although they've been, I've been hearing many, many um, words from her, but I don't care because she can't cut my dream off, okay? I'm a type of person, if I want something... I'll go to an extra mile to get it. Unless you are killing me before I will stop. But if you are not killing me and it's a hard working, then I must get that. So anytime she's been telling me that, but I don't care. But today it really caught me. It really, really caught me. Because the way she was doing, I asked her three times. Is it true? I was even thinking of she would do something that will show that. Like, She's just joking with me so that I will be happy. I felt so bad. And when she was telling me two of her kids were sitting, they are grown up. And I feel so embarrassed. I, like, I was so annoyed. But thank God, I asked. So you don't have to tell me that. At least I'm a house help and I'm not a madam. So Bao means I'll make a mistake. But I think she is expecting me to do everything 100%. Without making any mistake. My work is a house help. Are you getting me? I'm helping. But it seems like they have put everything on my neck. The only different thing is. I'm not sleeping in the same room with the husband. 
But apart from that, it's, it's like I'm the wife in the house. I've been doing it. And when they get up, they will just come and ask me, didn't you cook today? I'm hungry. Do this for me. Do this for me. What's my dress? Where's my pants? Where's... Like I'm not a mother. I've been doing all this, all the sacrifices for you. But today, like it really hurts me. You know, sometimes these madams, some of them are devils, okay? But most people, they blame we the house help that we don't respect or something. She, she don't have to tell me that, you know, you are an elder. And if you want a child to respect you, then you need to respect the child before the child would also respect you as a old woman or as an elder. But if you don't respect a child, are you expecting a child to respect you? I was very, very annoyed, but thank God I couldn't make any reaction. I just picked the plates and packed all of them and went to the kitchen and started cleaning the utensils. The only word I told myself is, yes, I made a mistake or I came here myself to do this job. Okay, you demon took me from my country. I came here. I make a decision that I want to come here. So you can do whatever you want. Okay, because I'm in your country. But thank God, I couldn't say a word to her. It would have been a horse because I was very, I was tired and when she told me that, oh my God, but thank God, I said, hey, you, you, you want, you want my trouble, but Lala, you will never get me. And this advice is most people are going through this in their homes, can't handle it. Most of them, they can't handle their anger and they will be saying things that at the end of the day, it will be causing confusion. To be constant, it will be causing problem in the house. So my advice is, if you are staying with someone and the person is trying to put you in trouble, it can be that the devil want to use that person to do something to put you in trouble or to get you to a situation where one day you will regret. Okay, so the work that we are doing. Please exercise patience. If things happen like this, it's not everybody even who is doing a house to help and who is experiencing this. Most people, they experience this from their family, from people they are staying with, family relatives. I knew what I'm talking about. Okay, so let's exercise patience and get what we want. If we get what we want, I don't think you go to that person again or you go and stay with that person again for her to tell you what she wants. Okay, by all means, one day that's why I always tell my tell myself that. No condition is permanent. If I say no condition is permanent, I think most people will take it as a joke. But I knew what I'm talking about and they mean it to me as no condition is permanent that I always quote. No condition is permanent. But is one day you will go back to your country. You can see that the video I'm doing, I don't feel happy at all because I smile a lot. Because I was, I was very, very sad today. But no condition is permanent. I know one day, one day, one day, one day, I'll get out from this hell. Or I, I'll get out from this mess and go to my country. I knew one day, I know one day I'll get what you I want. And I want to tell you, you too, one day you'll get what you want. Stop those work you think it's uncomfortable for you so this is my experience okay and my advice some madams are devils some are devils and they want your trouble but they make sure that they will not get you okay in po yeah in in ghana like we say it say say na musu shembra dre and i say na musu su etu mbranswa and su dre are you getting me so the person now, no who will be in trouble, no? that person will also face the consequence one day. Okay? So without wasting your much time, remember no condition is permanent because today I'm not in the mood. I just closed and I'm coming to sleep. I just feel like 
talking about this so that I'll be okay or I'll get the anger from my heart. It really pains me because I'm doing everything. I'm sacrificing my life, my everything. You know something? Although you are paying me, right? But sometimes, if someone is working for you, you need to show a little appreciation. Appreciations would also make us push hard, work hard for you. But when it gets to a situation like this and you are not getting it, oh my God, it's really, really painful. Thank you so much for watching my video. and I do appreciate it. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and let's grow together. Until I meet you in my next video, stay safe. Remember, no condition is permanent. One day, one day. One day, one day. That time will come. Thank you so much. Bye for now.